once again, everyone. My name's Janice Peterson. I'm from SBS World News. I hope that some of you are nodding your heads in recognition. I hope that there are a lot of smart people that watch SBS World News for the best news in the land. 6.30 weeknights and weekends, of course. Thank you very much. Um, it is my great pleasure to be your Master of Ceremonies once again for Multicultural Health Week in our beautiful state of New South Wales. We are here, of course, to celebrate the beginning of Multicultural Health Week. And what a ride I've had already. This, amazingly, is my seventh year here as your host. So I do feel like I'm among friends. There's a lot of familiar faces in the crowd and I do really feel that I'm part of the Multicultural Health Week family. So thank you, friends and family, for having me back. It's a, a real pleasure and I think a really great venue, you might agree, to be here in Southwest Sydney to be hosting this sort of event. Uh, I'd like to now just get on to some housekeeping rules, if I can, before we push on through the program. Firstly, although we love you to get engaged, we would ask kindly that you put your phones on silent, just so that there's a little less interruptions for the program. Although I must say, you've been pretty well behaved so far. I haven't heard too many phones going off, so thank you on that front. Um, a big hello to all of our friends watching in other health services. They're watching live on webinar and also live on Facebook. So hello, there's a camera up the top there. Just in terms of the phones, once again, although they're on silent, we do absolutely want you to be engaged. Please feel free to share photos, some of the information that you've learnt today, and you can do that by posting comments with the Multicultural Health Week hashtag, which is hashtag Multicultural Health Week 18 on the New South Wales Multicultural Health Communication Service Facebook and Twitter pages. So that hashtag... Hashtag Multicultural Health Week 18. We'd love you to get engaged and reach out to the people not only here, but outside of here in your social groups. Um, we'd love you to make that connection. Ladies and gentlemen, we do have an official photographer roaming around today. Um, please raise your hand if you don't want your picture taken. Everyone here okay with that? Otherwise, maybe just move out of his field of vision and um, you won't be photographed. But we would love to see your beautiful faces. So thank you for being engaged. Thank you for being involved. Uh, one other little point is that there's no eating or drinking in the auditorium. So I've been asked just to make sure you keep your food away from this place. <laughs> there will be time for refreshments, a bit of catching up, tea and bickies afterwards, so plenty of time to have a little chow down afterwards. Uh, toilets, <coughs> they're located just out these doors and if there is an emergency just head out through these exit doors and make your way to the main entrance. Uh, I think that's uh, pretty straightforward stuff. Multicultural Health Week is, of course, an annual event and it's celebrated right across the state. It really highlights the importance of language and culture in health services, as well as providing an opportunity to raise health issues in multicultural communities. In the past, traditionally, Multicultural Health Week was about the three Ds. Dress, dance and dinner. And by dinner, of course, we're talking about food, um, which is celebrating really the culture. Yeah, celebrating all of our culture, really. Now, since 20, uh, 2009, New South Wales Multicultural Health Communication Service, you might otherwise know it as MHCS, has been appointed by the New South Wales Ministry of Health to coordinate Multicultural Health Week. And that's worked in partnership with various multicultural health services across the local health districts, which have uh, added a more coordinated approach, I hope, to the planning of this week. Multicultural Health Week is an opportunity, really, for New South Wales health services and culturally and linguistically diverse communities, of course, we refer to them as cold communities, 
to reflect on the importance of promoting equitable access to health services for multicultural groups through the provision of culturally appropriate information and resources. The theme for this year, as Stephen Conaty just mentioned, is health literacy. And that tagline is talk, listen, ask for better health. So what is health literacy? Well, health literacy is really about how people understand information about health and health care and how they apply that information to their lives, use it to make decisions and also act on it. It's important because it shapes people's health, the safety and quality of healthcare as well. Since 2006, the Australian Commission on Safety and Quality in Healthcare, known as the Commission, has helped to identify, also raise awareness of and support organisations to address safety and quality issues within healthcare. Now, the Commission separates health literacy really into two components, and that is individual health literacy and also the health literacy environment. So individual health literacy, when we talk about that, we're really referring to the skills, knowledge, motivation and capacity of a person to access, understand, appraise and then apply information to make effective decisions about health, health care and then take appropriate action. The health literacy environment is something else. That is the infrastructure, policies, processes, material, people and relationships that make up the health system and have an impact on the way in which people access, understand, appraise and apply health related information and services. Now this morning we'll hear from speakers on a whole range of issues on both the current evidence on health literacy both individual health literacy and the health literacy environment, a consumer perspective and, of course, launch the week and its resources. It has been nine years now, so that's almost a decade, since the New South Wales Multicultural Health Communication Service, or MHCS, has been coordinating with Multicultural Health Week for the New South Wales Ministry of Health. And that's in partnership with Multicultural Health Service Directors in all local health districts. Multicultural Health Week, I think, certainly has come a long way. It's been very successful in showcasing the innovative and the really collaborative ways in which local health districts, local governments, non-government organisations and the media all work together in engaging with multicultural communities. 